How much memory does your computer really need? It's a pretty good question if you think about it, especially if you're going to be gaming. I've always said in the past that if you're going to game, you want at least eight gigs and 16 is going to be safe. But how true is that? Can you get away with four gigs? Do you need to have at least 16 gigs? What effects will it actually have on you when you are gaming? Well, today we're going to find out. So to really test out this concept, I wanted to run these tests on a couple different systems with a couple different settings. Um, and I really wanted to eliminate bottlenecks as much as possible and really have this just be on the RAM. So for the first machine, it's a 7700K with a 1080 GTX and we tested everything on 1080p and at 4K, see if there'd be any difference if you had a different resolution rate. So that's the first machine that we'll take a look at. So to kick off our testing, we started things off with Tomb Raider. Um, now, so for the test, we did four gigs, eight gigs, and 16 gigs of RAM for the three games we'll be testing on this machine. And as you can see, um, eight gigs and 16 gigs, very similar, actually slightly better FPS um, at 1080p, just barely. Could be anomaly, or could it be something that might hold true throughout all the tests, just keep, keep an eye on that. But as you can see, with four gigs of RAM, there is a slight dip, but nothing super crazy. I mean, 30 FPS at 1080p, we're, all, we're still well over 100 on a GTX 1080, and then we had um, four less frames at 4K. So yes, a dip down a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Our second game we tested was Grand Theft Auto V. Um, everything with the same settings, four gigs, eight gigs, 16 gigs. And once again, you can see that we had a dip at 1080p comparatively to uh, eight gigs and 16 gigs, but actually at 4K, we uh, were right on par, everything right at 37 FPS. And then moving on to our third game we tested, we did Dirt Rally, everything on Ultra with MSAA at times four. And as you can see up at the top with eight gigs and 16 gigs of RAM, uh, very similar numbers, one FPS difference at 4K, but down at four gigs of RAM, we're down 20 FPS, but 4K once again, holding out to be the same. So another interesting result there. So for our results for the first three games, yes, there is a little bit of a difference. Four gigs isn't quite enough when it comes to playing games. I mean. It is enough, it will play the games, but yes, you're actually taking a hit FPS-wise in games with four gigs of RAM. I was a little surprised that 4K didn't take a harder hit. Um, I'm not expecting the RAM to really be necessary there, but 4K is just harder in general, but apparently that's really just down to the graphics card, which really not a surprise, but I would maybe think just overall it might take a small hit. But that's the results for the first test. Now, that's just the game running alone. A lot of people don't just play a game and have it running alone. Some of us might have uh, Netflix open and another tab listening to that. We might have a bunch of tabs in Chrome open, maybe some strategy guides, maybe Facebook, Twitter, some of your social media. You might have a voice uh, system open like Discord or Curse or something like that. And then background things running like any RGB settings for your computer, your mouse, all types of little things that could be open and stealing little bits of memory away from games, from programs, from anything else. Could all just be sucking it away. So for the next test, we did it on a different machine just to try it out. We did it actually on my machine. Um, and we started things out at eight gigs of RAM and ramped things up to 32 because we could tell four is already a little bit too low and you're already taking a hit. So for the next test, we did eight gigs, 16 and 32 and we ran with seven tabs of um, Chrome open with Netflix playing, and then we also had, I think, the cam software running, I had a voice system open, and I actually opened up Photoshop in the background to have um, something in that as well, just to try to steal a little bit more memory away from gaming to see how that might affect the tests. And as we can see, jumping back into Tomb Raider on this machine, um, we did have a slight difference um, with eight gigs of RAM, just a couple FPS lower. Once again, the middle one having slightly better uh, rate than the highest one, kind of previous test. So instead of eight gigs, it's 16 gigs this time that had one better FPS. And for these tests, we didn't do 4K. We just decided to do 1080p since 4K didn't have a huge result last time in any kind of differences. And the next title that we did was Grand Theft Auto again. And as you can see, the 16 gigs seems to be the sweet spot compared to the other two. So um, obviously the lowest was still eight gigs of RAM and uh, nothing too crazy. Everything's still in the 80s, which is fine. So we're, we're definitely good there, but 16 gigs seem to be the sweet spot again. 
And then finally, for our last test, we did Dirt Rally. And as you can see, 8 gigs of RAM was 6 FPS below the other two, both at 116. So yes, a little bit of a hit again, not a huge one, especially with all those tabs open running and things going on in the background. So not an enormous hit, but definitely substantial or at least noticeable um, compared to the other two. So there you have it, your results. So overall, you could say if you pulled from both of the tests, both of the machines, 8 gigs seems to be a pretty safe spot if that's where you want to start out. Now, 16 gigs seems to be enough to really be, you know, safe and kind of future proof, you could say. I mean, if you're going to keep installing things on your machine and having more things running in the background or maybe more tabs, you know, it really comes down to how much you have happening while you're playing games or working on something else. That comes down to you. So 16 gigs, I'd say is the safest. 8 gigs probably will be fine. 4 gigs, about the smallest size stick of RAM you can buy on DDR4, which, you know, is fine. Four might be a little bit too little, but it might be enough. Let's say you only play CSGO, um, Minecraft, League of Legends, games that aren't really super power hungry when it comes to any resource on your computer. Four gigs might actually be okay, but we're, we're testing AAA titles that will be using resources as they please. So for the most part, eight gigs is going to be a safe place to be. Now, if you're somebody who always thinks RAM's better and more RAM makes your computer faster, well, okay, yeah, it's sorta true, it will. But if you can't utilize it or ever use it, then it's kind of wasted and a waste of money in my opinion. Now, if you're buying more than 32 gigs of RAM or 32 and up, you're buying it because you need it for a specific reason. There's programs you're using that love to use it to keep doing things in real time. Usually these are programming things. Um, for me, I use it with all my Adobe stuff. Both Premiere and After Effects love to use memory up while you're editing. So it's good to have a good chunk of it there so it can use those resources appropriately so you can edit and work at a good pace without having to have slowdowns or just struggles throughout those systems if you don't have enough. So um, outside of 16 gigs of RAM, it's a little overkill unless you are using it for a specific program. But I'd be interested to know what you guys think down below about these tests, if they surprised you at all, if none of this was very surprising, or if you were like, oh, I don't have that much or I might need more, I always leave 36 million Chrome tabs open. Um, let me know down below. Also, I'm going to leave a poll too in the description. Let me know if you would like to see some other tests or how much RAM you have in your system and see if you might need to make a small change in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you all in the next one.